Hey guys, this is HD. And this is Pain User. And we're back to co-cast another series of games in the IGN Pro League. Um, as always, the first game will be going up on our YouTube channels. The rest of the games can be found on IGN.com slash IPL. And this time around, it is going to be the Losers Bracket Round 2. Is that correct, Pain User? Yes, indeed. And yeah. it's going to be a uh, inter-clan war, actually, as we have Root Minigun at the top right as the Protoss. And across the map on Zelnaga Caverns, we have Root Druby. So this could be interesting. Yes, indeed. It's always a shame when two clan mates have to go up against each other but uh rest assured neither of them will hold anything back there is five thousand dollars in the prize pool on the line and uh it's always yeah. interesting when two clan mates play against each other in a tournament because you know each other's styles so well and you know the builds that you're most comfortable with so, absolutely so it makes it very interesting from a strategical point of view to see uh what the players do one thing I've always noticed when two people play in inter-clan wars, they, they practice so many times against each other in, offline, and when I say offline, I mean not on tournaments, that when they get into a kind of a tournament mode, things get really, really crazy. I mean, a lot of times, inter-clan mates in, in battle will actually do some kind of unexpected things that they often don't do in practice games because they want the win, man. They want it really bad. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and not to mention, it just totally... Uh, you have the ability to th to throw them off and deceive them because you you know and look that at this man Druby is already saying then I'm forced to cheese you Protoss can't be cheesed they cheese you <laughs> what a Protoss response that, that's man <laughs> so true, I have to say that is so true in a way I mean you can't really cheese this chair anymore you can't build barracks it's, before sliding it's very anymore. difficult and a lot of Protoss players are really experienced with holding off any kind of like two or three racks all in with marines right right and they're so good with their force fields now that it makes it really difficult to get up that ramp and even if you do get up the ramp they can delay with so long with force fields that they're able to get the amount of units necessary to deal with any kind of all-in so right oh look at this though Druby is gonna be cheesing him man he's gonna be building a proxy barracks and this is a really good location man it's away from the Zelnaga watchtower so any probe that comes by won't see it and how often does a Protoss player send a scouting unit around here this early on Druby is going to be doing some kind of a two racks play and uh, minigun. I don't think he's going to be doing any cheese because he's had cyber core going up yeah. already. So this is going to be a pretty frantic game in the opening moments. Yeah, absolutely. And I really like how minigun has stowed away his scouting probe in the top left corner of Druby's base. Yeah, going to save that for a rainy day and then probably around maybe the five minute mark, he's gonna send that in to get some really <laughs> valuable scouting information. Well, he's gonna send that in and he's gonna see only one barracks and obviously if he can get it over to the natural, he's gonna see there's no command center or anything going on. Mm. So he's gonna know something fishy is happening. Yeah, man. absolutely. And one thing in Druby's base, if Minigun does notice is that there are three supply depots down and right. if he does scout the natural, there is no command center. Exactly. So he has to know Something's if he scouts going on. all of that, that something is going down, something fishy is happening. It's... And Minigun sending a second scouting probe through the front, and I love this. Mm. Not afraid to use two probes to scout. Scouting is so important, most people are afraid of losing too many. And look, he sees all the oh! SCVs heading in for the all-in. This is terrible for Druby. Oh. Couldn't be in a worse situation right now. And now Minigun immediately throwing the Chrono Boost on the Cybernetics Core. He realizes something really crazy is going on. He's gonna have to try to get Workgate out as quickly as possible and the timing is going to be absolutely crucial here and Druby is going to be going for a command center. Yeah, it looks like Druby isn't going to go with the all in. He's going to try and expand behind this, but I don't know if this is going to work out for him. This single stalker already is going to be able to delay this command center by so much. These marines are unupgraded, going up against a stalker in small numbers. They're just going to get picked off. That SCV is going to get picked off, and this is a terrible situation for Druby. But Druby has ran a bunch of marines into the main, and units are being warped in as we speak. Right, okay, so these marines are inside the main of Minigun right now. Minigun also forced to pull probes off the line. We have another proxy piling going on in the John Commons hallway. And uh, it looks like Minigun is, he's, he's going to lose this stalker, but man, these two players are both being so aggressive, and I honestly expect to see uh, Minigun start to warp in some units in the back here, maybe a couple Zealots just to do some damage in the back of Minigun's main, or Dru Druby's main. Yeah, that pylon in John's common knowledge hallway is going to be the coup de gras. I feel like there's nothing for Druby to stop this. All of his forces are committed to the contain at the bottom of Minigun's ramp, and now there's two Zealots and two Stalkers attacking the natural of Druby. 
Ruby has no units to speak of back in his base, and I just don't know how he's going to hold this. He's going to be running back with his Marines here, and I just don't know, man. He's only got one bunker out here to contain the Protoss, and honestly, you can't contain a Protoss when they've got Warp Gate and Pylons all over the map, and now SCVs are forced to fend for themselves, and really, SCVs just not really outfitted for the, the rigors of warfare, and yeah, they're going to go down, and Ruby dropping the FU. Yeah, he's dropped the F-bomb. I think he's a little disappointed. Uh, Maybe that's his rendition of a GG. Yeah. <laughs> then he got here taking the game away from his clanmate. And hey, we were talking about players cheesing and we were saying, you know, most likely the Terran's not going to cheese. And <laughs> Drewby goes ahead and he does it. He builds a proxy barracks and I mean, it almost worked. If not for that brilliant man, just absolutely brilliant scouting probe seeing those SCPs. Yeah, I totally agree with you. That probe was uh, what really turned the tables. Uh, and also, I feel like if you're going to do something like what Drewby did, uh, you have to be much more one-dimensional. Yeah. You need to either go completely all in and do it with three Raxes and forget it. Even if he scouts your SCVs, just keep going. I mean, honestly, once you've committed that much, you have the proxy racks on the other side of the map, you haven't dropped a command center, you haven't got gas, you haven't invested in any upgrades, yeah. you're going to lose. And GG indeed, Minigun takes the first game 1-0, and that's a quick, devastating loss for I Drew do B. believe it's a best of three series, so hey man, Minigun's got the advantage going into game two, and stay tuned guys. Next game, once again, can be found on IGN.com slash IPL.